You have an, an affair over there. Whispering to me. <laughs> Sweet nothing. Whispering. Hello, dear. Sweet nothing. Oh, I've not seen you in a while. Pitching 300. No big deal. Ball speed the fastest. Clubhead speed the fastest. Launches up. Spins down. 300 on the fly. 91 feet in the air. Listen, gents. We all know. <laughs> gents. When we like the look of something, we're more inclined to perform at a higher level. True? Very true. All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're taking a little walk down memory lane, Michael. Love it. This will be good. Yeah. You were probably about 14 years old when this first uh, generation came out now on now. the sim. Uh, drivers from TaylorMade, a few years back now. And the evolution of sim into stealth, into whatever's coming next. I know we've seen some USJ hot list stuff. This or morning. not hot list, but USGA stuff this Conforming morning. list. Looks nice. I like the name. Hopefully it's got some nice colors. We, uh, we expect it to be good. But guys, we, we had this in the, uh, the planning document, the, the sort of content schedule a while back. And then the irony of, of it is we all flip on our phones this morning and we see the new one. I know. It's the first time you've done a morning post. I shocked. I was all amped up. Um, so we're going to take a little look down sort of uh, the last four generations of TaylorMade drivers. Um, some that you and I have played. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you and I basically, we did play Sim, we did play Sim 2. I played Stealth, yeah. I uh, played Stealth and then you never jumped onto Stealth 2. No, Old Faithful TSR 3. Yeah, current current love of your life. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's look at that. and. I would say, I mean, if we look at our, our sort of uh, analytics of the year, the what's wrong with the TaylorMade Stealth 2 driver that we done around the time when Rory was struggling mm. is our, you know, sort of most viewed driver of this current year. So it's clearly a hot topic and a, a hot button item for you guys to wonder what's going on over at TaylorMade. Definitely. Where sort of did the, the did the trail, train get derailed at any point with sort of carbon wood in, in this sort of era? Did they have something at Sim that they lost in stealth? And, you know, let, let's explore that a little bit. I think if we can kind of piece together these four particular heads, um, it is well worth the discussion to do so. And then, although we've seen now the pictures, Mikey, we don't know what's coming next. We know nothing. Nothing. Which is, uh, it's November and I know nothing. I know. I need to get my finger out of do. and do some better work. The cool thing is, and, and we'll lay maybe a photo over this video, just looking at them right away, seeing the well, I'll call it the sim, that shape in motion bar with the weight in the back. Yeah. Watching it get, to me, it looks significantly kind of smaller as the kind of years go on. It, it could be a reason why sim was so good for us. Definitely. Okay, guys, we're going to tie, take a dive in here. Um, set of uh, data set with each driver set. And then we're going to take a look at it at the end, see, have a look at aerodynamics. You know, Obviously, that was the big thing with shape and motion. We're going to look at carbon wood. We're going to look at forgiveness. We're going to look at all of these taglines and, and explore them against the other models around them. All right, Fraz, at one point in 2023, you used this driver. Did. This, is, uh, this was the game, yeah. As we agreed off camera, great shape. Lovely. I love a, I love a tailor-made driver. I think they've always had a nice looking driver. Um, so we'll start with Old Faithful and we're going to go back in time. Just relay that shot over and over for four times. Oh, smashing. What a great set. Quite nice. Yep. 288, 15 launch. Hmm. I see what a couple sunny days in California do for you. Chip, chip. <laughs> So the story with Stealth 2 and whether you want to, you know, make fun of it or laugh of it, sure. the, you know, the, the tagline, forgiveness, forgiving. Um, long and straight. Long and straight, yeah. When you, when you played it this year, obviously you've played Stealth in the past, you've played other drivers in the past, um, and we'll obviously be able to depict kind of out of the video. Did you find that that MOI was a little higher, a little bit more yeah. forgiving off it? I did. Okay. I would say shot number one yeah. was probably... Like when I hit that first one and, and where that strike was, uh, if you go, yeah, up there and look at that, like I didn't feel like I hit that one that great. So when I looked up and saw 14, six launch, 2100, yeah. and actually stayed to the right of the center line out of the toe. A little baby like, draw out of the toe. Is... That's, that's what this driver was designed to do, exactly that. And like the numbers are good, good efficiency. Efficiency, super good. Yeah. Great launch and spin. I mean, tons out of it. 
that is literally what this driver was designed yeah. to do. Yeah, it's nice. With the help of some twist face. Yeah. 162 ball. A little lower launch, but got away with it. Yeah, it came out a fraction low on the head, eight mil, mil, millimeters low. But again, we just spoke about the toe strike that spun at 21, the low toe strike that spins at 22. Yeah. Like, this is a good driver. Yeah, yeah, it keeps, keeps you in play. I just, I just haven't, honestly, Mikey, all year, I haven't. No, maybe, maybe there's environmental stuff. Maybe there's something in here that, that testing in an indoor environment doesn't give you. Maybe there's something. I just don't know why people are so critical of this driver. I really don't. Like, we've got this set on, like, pretty neutral settings. Like, we're, we're not really, it's not, and it's kind of, like, fit, all it will be, it's a shaft I like. It's not really dialed in or fitted anyway. Yeah, it's a good point. Oh, it's the shaft that you're fitted to. We tested a driver a couple months ago, and as soon as we changed the shaft that you play, it yeah. was better. Oh, this is this is like for the heat it got on pair tour. Of for yeah, me. when the heat it got on tour, the guys weren't playing it, and you yeah. know people on social were like, "Oh my god, the driver's not good." Remember, they were using it that they were fitted for it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, Scotty Scheffler won with it. Rory won with it. Like the Scotty driver's... is Scotty is the stroke gain number one player in the world off yeah. the tee. Yeah, the driver's good. There's nothing wrong it's with Delta. Driver. Yeah, drivers. Just fine. But in terms of like what we're here to discuss, which is what is the evolutionary technology, higher MOI built in with mm -hmm. the characteristics of being fast, low spin, et cetera, et cetera. That's what the mod this model is designed to do. It's all right there. Definitely, yeah. It's the kind of high launch, low spinner, Mikey. Mm -hmm. It's like pitching at like 290 plus. Yeah. Ball speed's good off it. Knuckler. Knuckler. Knuckler that's in play though. Yeah. Really good. Okay, for us, original stealth. Um, now this is a little nice custom one, all, yeah. all blacked out. Looks this really was, good. This was not done nicely, wasn't it? All black with a gray face. The intro to carbon, I think was a bit of a, a shake up to us. We were, we were all excited that, you know, something different from TaylorMade coming into that year, a carbon yeah, face it. was, not what I was expecting for a driver to have, but uh, you know, it performed well for, for us. Like I said, the shapes are irrelevant. Everyone's gonna look at it and yeah. say, I don't like it or I like it. Again, very clean. Um, I, you know, I played this driver, you played this driver, was, was really impressed with it. Yeah, yeah. I think we thought at the time it was gonna be very revolutionary. Mm -hmm. um, so whether you like it or whether you don't, whether you agree, whether you don't, it's, it, it, you know, it changed. Uh, TaylorMade's direction and trajectory as a, as a metal wood company, Definitely. that's for sure. Okay. A little bit of a different sound to the, uh, this one's higher pitch. A little higher pitch, yeah. I don't mind it, but it's, I didn't realize it at the time that it was, I, and I would assume the pitch went that way just to try and retain <clears throat> the metallic sound yeah, yeah, of yeah. a carbon face driver, right? Yeah. So acoustically engineering that into it so that people don't go, oh, well, that sounds like a bit... Muted. Like a muted, yeah, like yeah. dead, dead hit. It's a good swing. Swing. Again, kind of resembling that little low toe strike, and it's still... So good, isn't it? Still holding up. 164 ball speed. Good swing. Really good. Easy peasy. Funny, all the strikes are just yeah, same exactly spot, in the same it? spot. And the amount you get out of it from that, you know, lowish toe yeah, is, is, is impressive. 12.5 launch, 21 spin. All right, Mikey. All right. Sim two. Sim two. Probably the only one, I see the only one, the one probably coming out of this test I had the most question marks about. Because I know I love Sim. Mm. I know I really like Stealth too. Yeah. I think I thought I liked Stealth and it confirmed there when I hit it that I do. Yeah. This was the one that I'm probably the most interested. Like, how does this fit in? Like, this was the storyline. Mm -hmm. 
That type. Forged ring. Forged ring, yeah, Construction. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really, I, I'm like, really? Is that what we're talking I about? I always find it's not, it's not all the time. Please, when people are watching, do not take, take this with a grain of salt. I find the second gen of the same name yeah. struggles a, a wee bit. Some sometimes, but not all the times. I mean, look at look yeah. at the TS line. You have three three amazing drivers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with this one, it to me just felt like when even when we look when I first looked, I was like, really, that's it? Yeah. Like it's it's just you know maybe a cosmetic. And yeah. I think we all love the original Sim cosmetic, mm -hmm. very plain. Yeah, I had nothing crazy about Sim 2. Sometimes you're right. Sometimes Gen 2 can be a step towards, especially if there's something new coming. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go blockbuster on a driver if you knew you had something like a carbon Correct. face coming the Correct. year after yeah, yeah. And, and try to kind of like overwhelm the market. I think they knew, TaylorMade knew with Sim 2 they could ride the coattails of Sim, which was a, a great product mm -hmm. and, and something they've done really well with in the market. So I think Sim 2 was going to fly because of the people who didn't buy Sim but saw how good it was. Right, yeah, yeah. And you go, oh, I'll give that Sim I'm 2 young. a try. Sim 1 yeah, looked makes awesome. Sense. Right, and then knowing that they've got sort of uh, the carbon era coming in the, the next edition. Okay, let's see. Pretty decent, Mikey. Mm -hmm. Close to similar strike, maybe a little bit more centered than the other ones. Well, probably like the best strike yet, yeah. to be honest. A little bit, a uh, little bit spinnier than the other ones we've tested so far. Yeah, that that was always my feeling with Sim too. A little high middler again, so mm -hmm. that spin will come down a bit. But with some of the other ones, we were seeing really low spins. This is probably where this driver is really good. So like a high-ish strike. Yeah isn't too low in spin. Definitely not the ball speed king that we've seen nah. from the others. That well, felt like a good swing. Mm -hmm. Stay in play for you. Being that little bit spinnier of a driver definitely doesn't, doesn't pitch at that. I mean, I know we're not looking at distance, but it's, I yeah. mean, it's very consistent. It's the same thing three times in a row, but you lose that 295, 297 kind of high launch, low spinner. Yeah, and as we've progressed through the test, I mean, you can kind of see where where the the speed was going up, mm -hmm. 10, 10 and a half, 11 and a half, and like where the speed is on, on this one at 111, like the efficiency is not as high. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no doubt about that. Actually looking at the delivered loft. So again, when you get into the properties of the head, guys, when that center of gravity gets further back, when the CG, the further back the CG goes, uh, impact the head will deliver more dynamic loft. That's why, you know, you can have a eight degree driver with a really deep low MO uh, CG, and in, in, in actual fact, you'll deliver more dynamic loft. You can play higher loft with a further forward CG, and it will deliver less dynamic loft. It's always how does the CG make the driver head behave? Really good swing. Kind of the first one that resembled the others. Yeah, yeah, good strike. And, he, and this driver, I feel like this driver probably got the best bunch of strikes. Mm -hmm. More centered. Mm -hmm. All right, Fraz, original sim, the OG, the high launch, low spin. We'll just be over in the corner, make it out. Bomber. Look at that thing. It sits great. It's a good driver. I mean, why did they just not make Every driver looked like that and just whatever technology you put on it, but don't change that. Little flat, nice, nice shape. Bring the chalk white back. I'm a believer in the chalk white. You have an, an affair over there. Whisper to me. <laughs> Sweet nothings. Whispering. Hello, dear. Sweet nothings. Oh, I've not seen you in a while. All right, let's see. <laughs> then you get your mojo back, right? Like the minute you... you are in love with something. Pitching 300, no big deal. Ball speed the fastest, club head speed the fastest, launches up, spins down, 300 on the fly, 91 feet in the air. Listen, gents, we all know. <laughs> gents. When we like the look of something, we're more inclined to perform at a higher level. True? Very true. You move that green back a few bit. As our friend DJ Khaled would say, another one. Uh-oh, 
New driver in the bag for the old man. That ball speed's a joke. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Nah. But I suppose it is club. But that was the whole thing with shape and motion, like yeah. it moved faster. But you obviously get high efficiency with higher club head speed, mm. where you get the multiple effect on the, uh, the distance. And then you put the CG low, not too far back, then you get a little shallow face. Like everything, there was Good. so many things that were right about this mm -hmm. driver. That's hammered. It's pretty good. Hammered or not, I don't know, but it's pretty good. This will have a little overnight stay in your bag for sure. Let's not all get carried away. Oh, I think we could do a test after this. Come back. Just pitching on that green like it's nothing. The beauty thing for the test today is all your strikes with every driver has been exactly the yeah. same, which is good. Yeah, I mean, as, as fitters, we're not, we're not saying that everyone has to hit it in the middle. We just say our job gets easier when the same thing happens yeah, over yeah. and over again. Totally. Right, See, for, if someone is you know, spray painting the face with the yeah. golf ball, it makes a, make, that makes the fitting the it toughest. Does. Definitely does. This test, folks, is over. Should we bring them up one by one? Sure. Let's bring them up the newest. I thought that performed great. Yeah, you hit it good. Really, really nice. 161, kind of where, as we said, at the start of the speed journey, day in, day out for me is about that. Uh, 14 launch, 1900 spin, so certainly in the low end. Um, good, tight standard deviation. Manageable, though. Really good. Yeah. 293, 10. Everything in good order. Slight toe strike, so mm -hmm. it was dealing with the, the miss hit really quite nicely. Then Gen 1. Strike got a little lower. Got a fraction lower, which is going to help towards the spin a little mm -hmm. bit. But it really managed the spin nicely yeah. from a standard deviation standpoint. I mean, 20, just under 2300, 12 launch. Didn't quite go as far because we don't have those bomber conditions, but it actually was quicker, marginally yeah. faster. Yeah, just a little bit spinnier. Yeah. Um, moving into... The Sim Gen 2, we were seeing sort of a bit of a decline. It, it kind of would, to me, if, if I was watching, you know, this test, I would, I would imagine if we started at the oldest and went to the newest, I would imagine this trend, we're getting a little bit longer yeah, or we're yeah. getting a bit quicker. But the reality was, you know, I was actually swinging quite nicely when, uh, when I had the Sim 2 there, 161 ball, so same as Stealth 2 Plus. Just that uh, spin kicks up a bit. Bit more spin, mm -hmm. so it just, when you get that spin, you create that little peak in the flight. Yeah. That little kind of almost V. Um, so you get a steeper land angle and it obviously goes out a bit shorter. Uh, we've lost 10 yards. Yeah. Not, not sort of ideal. And strike moved up a bit. Up which and is in. nice. Up yeah. and in. It was, it was quite good. So the strikes, the, the efficiency was decent and we're swinging right around where we were, but dynamically, loft, yeah. yeah, more, certainly more sort of uh, dynamic loft being delivered. Last but not least. Last but not least. Now it is definitely, it's in that higher launch range, we would call higher launch, you know, 14-ish, yeah. but it's got that knuckler to it for sure. I mean, you look at those back to back. Yeah, nuts. 18 more in the air. Quicker by a lot. A lot. Good launch, so just very, so they were obviously searching for the, the right spin. Mm -hmm. It seemed like, you know, obviously Sim Gen 1 was very low in spin. That's what's just, it's a modern day SLDR. Yeah, that's yeah, what it point. is. It's a yeah. fast moving SLDR. Um, then Sim Gen 2 obviously moved into the kind of spinnier realm. And that's not shocking because that to me is where like things like M5 and M6 yeah, were in, yeah, in good that point. kind of uh, realm. Um, and then obviously if we look at. The efficiency's good. A little bit Club quicker, quicker, more efficient. Yeah. Loft's lower. Yeah. All the good stuff. It's very good. It definitely has that high launch, low spinning kind of shot into it, but it was such a great driver for us. Really was. Yeah, if we look at, again, on, on the current driver, right, as of what's the offering right now versus uh, Sim Gen 1 when you sort of test them, and that's why I wanted to do this test this, in a lot of people's eyes, maybe backwards mm -hmm. in terms of going from the newest to the oldest because yeah. I don't want to give the newest the advantage no. so the narrative seems that, oh, the current driver's the best, look how much better they've got yeah, over yeah, the years, yeah. right? That's, that's the way these tests are often done. 
let's do it backwards and let's let's kind of see what's going on. The reality is they really had something in Sim Gen 1. Whether you love 1700 or not, or 1800 as you round up, um, that's actually not that far. It's, it's only 150 apart. RPMs away from what's out there right now. Yeah, very, very similar. Obviously, you know, carries up a bit. Um, that ball speeds up a bit, but, you know, on the original, you yeah. know, Gen 1, but the Stealth 2 Plus for us this year, I, I like the driver. You hit it great. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not far behind it. Yeah, just the four miles an hour ball speed. It's nuts. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. But I think that was club related as well. Mm -hmm. We were two and a bit miles an hour quick. Actually, from an efficiency standpoint, look at the dynamic loft, look at where the strike was, delivery. Yeah. A lot of the same. I don't think you can underestimate the impact of loving what you see yeah, 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 and being point. so comfortable. Yeah, you said earlier, you know, you're going to perform better if you like the look of definitely. something. And, you know, Sim, Sim Gen 1 uh, definitely looks better. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Performance was, was peak. So, guys, that was tailor-made through the years. And obviously for us to somewhat guess as to what's coming, well, we know they're not going to abandon carbon. No. Uh, that's, that is, uh, you know... Even if we go back to when they were making sort of the white driver, how long did that last? That went from R11 was the first white driver. R11S, R1 was kind of busy out on top. The R15 between that. R15, yeah. yeah, I forgot about R15. So there's kind of four models that they, mm -hmm. they kind of let things ride. And then they moved into, obviously, the, the sort of the carbon top with the right. M1, yep. you know, and... Uh, what do they call that? The, the non-metal wood or something like that? That's right, yeah, they put dipped in liquid. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Like um, so we're expecting, expecting more innovation. Mm -hmm. well, let's say that. Yeah. Let's say that. I just, I, I would just love I to. Eye for innovation. Eye for innovation, there you go. QI. Okay, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this. We love these little trips down memory lane. Uh, checking out sort of the brands through the years. And we definitely will do that with other drivers. I'd love to sort of do this with Titleist, the mm -hmm. four heads, the sort of prior gen 9, 17, 17 TS, TS, because TS, yeah. TS was a, a watershed moment for them. Mm -hmm. T, uh, you know, 917 wasn't great. So 917 TS, TSI, really blown the, the socks off at that point. And TSR where you just, you just get, you polish the, all the, if there's any rough edges on it, Things like sound, yeah. you know, those types of things. It, it was just a refinement of an already phenomenal product. Definitely. Callaway, if we go through the years with Cal, I'd love to do that. Cobra, same thing. So yeah. if you guys, more importantly than what we want, if you guys want to see that, let us know. Uh, like and subscribe. Leave note in the comments for what you want us to test. But more importantly, guys, uh, follow along in the journey. We'd love to see those regular names. We, we love when we can sort of have that communication with you guys on, on the regular. That's what means the most to us. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you again soon.